Taylor Swift, pop star, songwriter, and inventor of the color red. Personally, I love Taylor Swift, huge fan. Really nothing bad to say about her. But even if I had something bad to say about her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it. Because Taylor Swift's fans are super protective of her. Like, like they're like one of those old fashioned dads with a shotgun who doesn't want you to marry his daughter because he wants to marry her. You see, Taylor Swift has been re-recording all of her old albums, which means people are re-listening to all of her old songs about her famous exes and then getting mad at those exes all over again on her behalf. And while Taylor may be content to address her old boyfriends with heartfelt lyrics and songs that are, again, I wanna stress this, perfect in every way, some of her fans are a lot less subtle. This is going a little too far. While Jake Gyllenhaal is taking incoming fire from the Swifties, another one of Taylor's exes is being bombarded with messages now. A user on Instagram sent John Mayer a direct message telling him, fuck yourself, you ugly bitch. I hope you choke on something. Mayer then responded to the user, saying that he'd been getting many messages like that over the past couple of days and asking, do you really hope I die? To which the user responded, OMG, what? I don't want you to die. I'm sorry. The user apologized again and admitted they didn't really think Mayer would see the message. You see, people, this is what I hate about social media. It makes people act shittier than they actually are, which then makes us think that people are shittier than they actually are. Because social media makes us forget that we're all human beings. You know, we just see that little avatar and then we all talk shit to each other, but we're all human. Even celebrities are real people, all of them. I mean, obviously, except Timothy Chalamet, he's gotta be CGI, no one can be that good looking. I mean, just look at that person. Now I'm craving spice. God damn, mm, 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 mm. And I know her fans are like, but he hurt her, listen to her song. Yes, that's all you're supposed to do, listen to the song. You know, Taylor Swift writes songs to express her emotions in a way that touches other people. Not to order a hit on her ex-boyfriends. So death threats are not the way to go, especially with someone like John Mayer. Don't, don't send him death threats, he gets them all the time. If you really wanna upset him, tell him that Ed Sheeran is a better guitar player. Well, that's gonna hit his heart. <laughs> You know, it's, it's weird how people get, like, they're so hateful on the internet, Desi. Yeah, I know. It's bad, but if you think John Mayer's DMs are rough, you should see the DMs of any woman on the internet. Really? Yeah. It's either death threats or requests to see your feet. Like, Every time. Like, just your feet, feet? Yeah, just your feet. Huh. Or a death threat, one of the two. It's wow. either like, why are women in Star Wars? Or send me a picture of your feet. That's really intense. Yeah. Yeah. I know they're both bad, but which one do you prefer? Well, I'm pretty proud of my feet, so I got no problem sending foot pics. Again, bad, I just wondered which one. Have you ever requested a foot pic? No, no. Wow, look who's a gentleman. <laughs> I think Cute. normal is the phrase you're looking for, maybe? Well, okay, it all depends. Yeah. No, but to be totally fair, it is completely inappropriate for anyone to send a death threat on the internet. Okay. It's, it's not cool. I agree. You gotta do it the old school way. You know, you gotta like cut out from a magazine. This is the real way to do it. That is better than a DM? Yeah. Still not good. Yeah. I always have this with me, just in case. I don't even know who it's for, but it takes so long to do it that I figure by the time I'm done, I'll figure it out. I'll be pissed at somebody. By the way, you're out of glue. Yeah, and all my magazines have been destroyed. Thank you, Desi. Yeah, no, this is from your book cover. Oh, well, thank you. I thought you wanted it signed because you wanted to read it. You wrote that book? 